Hey what's up guys, today we're going to change our spam manager just a little bit so we can keep track of how many enemies are on the board uh, during the game. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it's going to be fairly simple. In this episode what we'll do is we will um, we will go ahead and modify a little bit of code we already had. Let's go into spam manager at first. And we're going to clean up stuff. Well, not really clean up, but we're going to keep track of how many enemies are on the uh, the board. So to do that, we'll keep a list of them. So maybe later on we want to do operation like wipe all of the enemies in the list. Well, we can do that here now. So the spam manager is going to be um, taking care of despawning the object as well. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a private list of game object. So private list game object and this is going to be the active enemies. It is going to equal a new list of game objects. So instantiate it right away. Okay, so now using this list, what we'll do is we will take the active enemy and whenever we spawn one, we're gonna do active enemies dot add and we pass in the reference to what we just created. Just like this. So active enemy dot add geo. Okay. Now what we need is also a function that is going to take care of despawning them, so I'll do that just below that. Public void destroy enemy. And it's going to take in parameter of course the game object itself. Okay, so uh, destroy enemy, it has to be an enemy, so it has to be inside of this list as well. So what happens now is uh, active enemies dot remove Geo, but this is, isn't this isn't going to um, take him off the board. This is simply going to remove him off the list. After that, we need to do destroy game object. Okay, now since we have a reference to all the enemies on the board, we're going to be able to keep track of how many of them are on the board. And to do that, I'll also create myself another function below that. So public int because we're getting a uh, integer back get enemies left. So by calling this function we are going to get the amount of enemies that are in the list. So return active enemies that count. Simple as that. Now if we go inside um, well first let's just think real quick what can kill our enemies so far? So far nothing is able to destroy our enemies except that little wall here so the feed zone. Let's enter the defeat zone script. And in there, instead of destroying our game object like we do, uh, we're going to say spawn manager instance dot destroy the enemy and then we're going to say call dot game object. So our spawn manager is now in charge of destroying that enemies wherever it is or uh, whatever way it dies. So later on when we have abilities and say uh, the HP of our enemy drops down to zero, we're still going to be calling this very function. Okay, now let's do a little bit uh, of testing. What I'll do is I'll have a uh, any kind of script. I'll just, uh, let's just use the uh, span manager for now. And in there I'll do a uh, debug.log inside of the update. So debug.log get enemies left and this should be spamming my console with how many how many enemies are left on the board right now. So uh, right now it's zero because there's none. Let's hit K. And now it is, if we scroll down a little bit, 10 and then keep spawning. So 14, 16, 18 and now it enters the defeat zone. So we're going back to 16, 14, 12, 10, 9, 7 and so on until it hits zero. Well, actually, we're starting the other wave now, so it's not going to hit zero just yet. But as you can see, we get the uh, the good amount of uh, enemies that are on the board right now. So we can keep track of it, and we can display it a little bit later on. All right, so this was it for this video, guys. It was a really simple one, but we needed to get it out of the way so we can use it later on in our UI. And uh, yeah, so if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any comment or question, Please leave them in the comment section below. Also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.